The basic principle of Islam, one of the basic principles that we, we all can agree on, is the fact that we do have a choice and we do have free will to do what we want, to accept Islam or not. But the free will and choice ends at the door of Islam. After accepting Islam, it's a different story. After you become a Muslim and after you enter the folds of Islam, you then give up your right to choose. Now everything is what Allah says. What Allah says in regards to leadership and in obedience to leadership and who's the leader and how should he be accepted. Not just if he's accepted or not. 80 times, 80 riwayat and hadith in the Sunni books, not Shia books, Sunni books, 80 different hadith has come that Ali is the Khalifa, Ali is the leader. Is there any place else other than these places for anyone in all the history of Islam, for any person that Rasulullah had said that you are my successor and you are the leader of the Muslims, is there anyone? Bring me one fake ayah, fake hadith, a fake hadith, yes. Nowhere. Ali is the successor of the Prophet. That's what it means without any interruption, without any gap. If you have a gap in there, it won't be Islam anymore. You could call it anything you want. It would not be Islam. Because Islam is what Allah has appointed and whatever Allah says is Islam. Nothing that we do can be Islam. The Ummah doesn't matter. Ali is the successor of the Prophet, the direct successor of the Prophet without any gap or interruption. That is a faith that every Muslim must have because everything has to be in the order that Allah has said to us. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin.